Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope it's love. I uh, just did a reading for Taurus and it was anything but, but for you guys I hope it's love. Anyway, um, I'm live here every, when, every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern for our $5 live Q&A. So if you are subscribed, when I go live you will receive notification. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So when I do go live, you receive notification too. And as always, if the reading does resonate, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, comment. Let a sister know how you feel. Don't come at me with no bullshit, but you know, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. Kansa, Kansa, darling. You got the three of wands, which is trying to figure out what's my next step, what's my next move. I know I want to move out of this situation. I know I want to go. And I need to just go ahead and make a decision and just do it. Right? Um, okay, let me clear my head because I don't want this to be emotional. But when I do it, I do want to be happy. You know, I know I may have to cut some people off and let some stuff go and keep to myself and, you know, kind of kind of keep to myself and preserve myself, you know, because people ain't been what they need to be lately. Uh-huh. Nine of Swords. Mmm. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, Cancer. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I can hear some of y'all like, fuck that. I got stuff to do. Right? Let me move those up so you can actually see and read with me. All right, it could be far away, but don't worry, I'll hold some of them up if I need to. Okay, this kind of feels like you recently could have been, you know, in a situation that kind of had you mentally messed up, worrying, talking negative to yourself, you know, not really being too hopeful, not really knowing what was going to happen next, thinking, you know, doom and gloom. All right, you get the picture. Okay, but it's almost like, you know what? I can't fucking live here. I don't, I'm not supposed to stay here. Like, I need to get myself up out of this situation. Like, there are too many things I could be doing with my life and doing with, with such and such than to be sitting here worrying about this person, right? So I kind of feel like, yeah, you could have, you could have, um, again, just come out of some dark place. And now you're kind of picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and trying to figure out what your next move is, what your next plan is going to be. Um, I feel like angels have more to say about these two cards. I kind of feel for some of you, maybe one, two, five, nine of you, it's almost like you're kind of down and out, worrying, sad, because you thought you would be taking this journey with someone else. Right, or you wanted to take this journey with someone else, it's almost like you had a preconceived notion or expectations that this journey would be with person, with the people, with you know, a collection. It would be it would go a much a lot better than it is, but um for some reason that hasn't happened, right? So it's almost like you were looking forward to something, but possibly now all you can do is worry about it, right? Now with the Aries card of Emperor, Emperor, right? And then the Ten of Pentacles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is prosperity and longevity, okay? That is security and money and inheritance and legacy and all of those things. So I do kind of feel like Cancer, yes, absolutely. When your heart is hurting, when you are down and out, y'all could uh, heal world hunger, Okay, because it's almost like as emotional as you are when you kind of quote unquote emotionally bottom out, that's the time I feel like y'all make money. You come up with all of these business ideas or, you know, um, plans and, you know, okay, well, I'm going to invest in this and you go invest in it and it freaking splits and triples and, and blows up and you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like to an extent cancer, um, you know. It's like if you don't know necessarily where you're going, if you don't necessarily know what you want to do, for you as a cancer, the default is, okay, well, let me just grow my money, 
let me just let me just dive right into this situation and make some decisions about the rest of my life and you know what that kind of looks like and you know speaking about this particular situation here where you kind of had maybe expectations on what that journey would look like it's almost like well you know what if it don't look like that let me make it look like this okay so i do kind of feel like this is you kind of taking the bull by the horns and taking control of your destiny okay now let's talk about what kind of maybe got you here right you're tired of feeling like people taking advantage of you you're tired of feeling like i'm always the one who comes in last you're tired of wishy-washy people you're tired of you know it's almost like you're just tired of the freaking instability you're tired of you know um what i'm also hearing as well again maybe only for a couple of you but it's almost like i'm tired of the one i'm tired of being the one coming in last while i'm sitting around watching everybody succeed right and perhaps you're now figuring out that maybe I'm not going to say your heart got in the way, right? Or your emotions got in the way. But Cancer, I have to kind of say to you, deactivating your emotions every now and then, which this card kind of represents, is not a bad thing. And it is especially not a bad thing for you. I do feel like especially as a Cancer and as emotional as you guys are, deactivating right? Checking out, shutting down is actually beneficial to you guys, right? Because it'll keep you from feeling like, you know, left out or taken for granted or taken advantage of, right? Every now and then, yeah, you kind of have to disconnect and just kind of do you for you. You got to do you for you, okay? Now, what happens, believe it or not, you have the eight of, eight of Cups and now you have the Nine of Cups, right? That's actually beneficial because it revives you, believe it or not. It refreshes you. It rejuvenates you, right? So now it's like, okay, I'm back on my grind. I took some time. I turned my back on some people, some, some very necessary people, by the way. And energetically, yeah, when you dip out, when you leave, when you go incognito, now the rest of the world is like, hey, where's cancer at? I haven't seen cancer. I need to uh, miss cancer. Cancer, come see me, right? Like now all of a sudden when you disappear, when you're down and out, when you kind of like shut down energetically, by the way, that's what happens in this universe. Um, opposites attract, right? You fall off the grid. Everybody's like, where the hell you go? Okay. And love shows up. You know, people start sending you loving messages, right? They're like, hey, girl, where you been? I miss you. I need to come see you. You know what I mean? And it's almost like you start getting messages of love to help to replenish you and fulfill you. So it's it's crazy because I didn't necessarily, you know, I'm kind of reading these by placement. I don't, I don't know what this message is going to be yet because I'm still here, right? So as I was here and I was like, you know, disconnecting may actually be beneficial you know, I obviously saw the cards there, but I didn't necessarily know what the angelic message was going to be. So that especially makes sense to me that, yes, every now and then you do have to deactivate to preserve yourself and, and to help yourself and heal yourself, right? But when you are done with that, when you are in that place, love is going to kind of show up and say, hey, we miss you. We love you. Where you at? Right? Right? Now, these two cards, I haven't even really looked at these cards. I really haven't gotten an angelic message as of yet. But I just want to say balance, right? It's almost like this is something that you have to learn to balance. You can't live on one side of the spectrum all the time. Meaning, you can't live off the grid, <laughs> right? You can't do that. And you can't live in love all the time. It's about a balancing act, right? The Four of Pentacles is that card of stability. It's kind of resource stability. It also represents stinginess and blocking and, you know, kind of not spreading yourself around, right? But in this case, especially sitting here, you know, kind of following cups, that it we again are saying to you, that's beneficial. It's beneficial when you do you for you. That's going to be the title of this video, by the way. Ten, I bet you $10 by the time I'm done. I'm not going to freaking remember that. Anyway, but, you know, we're kind of saying to, you that, saying to you that every now and then, yes, it's absolutely okay to keep your shit to yourself. Okay? 
because it balances you, right? With the justice card here, the justice is represented by Libra, uh, Libra, and Libra is the scales, right? Justice means that, okay, you've given me all the information and I'm going to make an impartial, objective decision based on the information alone. So I kind of feel like for you, Cancer, yeah, God, angels, and universe are saying to you, yeah, look at this situation, whatever this is. By the way, this can apply to your whole, whole entire life, right? Look at all of your situations and just see, is it balanced? How much are they giving? Giving? How much am I giving? Who's giving more? Oh, I'm giving two more? You know what? Let me kind of, kind of just take away from it to balance it out. And again, once people feel you stop giving, they're going to be like, where you at? You know what I mean? But, you know, to train them on a new way to help balance them out, yeah, sometimes you have to give less. Sometimes you actually have to keep yourself, keep things to yourself. So if I'm giving you $100 a month, but, you know, for that $100, you only put in like $10 of gas in my car, I need to stop giving your ass $100 a month. I need to only give you $10 a month because that's the $10 you put in my car, right? And then the person's going to be like, well, where's the other 90? Well, I don't know. Like, where is the other 90? Because it's damn sure not my car. You see what I mean? So I do kind of feel like as you start to balance things out more, it's going to create a rippling effect where number one, yes, you are exactly right. People are going to start taking notice that you ain't over given no more, right? Then they're going to get greedy, like, you know, start throwing tantrums. Where's my 90? Where's that cancer? And you're going to like, oh, no, boo -boo. that's the, the that's not the, the new way, right? The new way is, is my way, right? And <laughs> look at the eight of cups again with the devil. That's people again coming to you being like, look, this ain't right. You treating me like this. Like they're so stuck in the old way of doing things. That you may have not even entertain a conversation. Just shut down on them there too. Especially emotionally. Don't blow up. Don't get mad at them. Because you're the one who trained them to, to want 90%, $90 or whatever. And get used to that. You see what I mean? So when you take it away from them, they're going to bitch, moan, and complain. And again, you were the teacher of that. So don't even go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Just, you know what? Okay, yeah. Mm, it's different. Whatever. Bye. Okay. Now, here's the thing too, right? Because unfortunately, some people are going to drop off. Some people you're going to have to cut out because they're going to be at your door every week talking about, where my 90? Where my 90? Where my 90? It's like, bitch, bye. Ain't nobody got time for you, okay? You're going to have to cut people off because, yeah, in fact, that there were some people taking advantage of you. Absolutely. Those people need to get cut the fuck off, okay? But then those people who are going to remain in your life, you got to teach them a new way. You see what I mean? You got to teach them a new way. You got to teach them how to love you in a more healthy fashion and not just love you because you're giving to them. Okay. That was a powerful message there. And, and, and again, guys, I'm going cards by cards, right? Anything that's coming to me, once I pick on those cards, the information comes like, bahoosh, right? But that was a powerful and strong freaking ending and saying, look, cut out the people who don't serve your, serve you no good. Who are not contributing they're only taking okay or they're only subtracting okay so cut those people out get rid of them yeah we've been knowing each other for 20 years but that's 20 years too goddamn long because that's 20 years that your ass has been taking advantage of me and not really contributing to this oh yeah i can understand why you sad now because you don't get to have me and what i've been giving you anymore right and again if they're rocking with you they're gonna be there like all right sis i get it i get it you know what you're right but if they're not, psh, deuces. Peace out. Anyway, Cancer, I hope that resonates. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, go on and hit that subscribe button. Love y'all. Bye.